The fight to maintain First Nations connection to country can feel overwhelming. One step forwards and three steps back. But you know what? Sometimes something wonderful happens. While I was travelling around Australia to make this film, something great happened in South Australia. A six-year fight ends in victory. Traditional owners of the Kimberland opposed a nuclear waste dump since it was first nominated in 2017. This is symbolic. It's very, it's, it's very emotional. You know, it's the fight that we continue. A federal court judge has effectively cancelled the controversial nuclear dump planned at Kimber on Eyre Peninsula. She ruled in favour of the traditional owner's complaint that the minister's choice of the site was biased. What a win for people power. Bungalow traditional owners have fought hard against the federal government's plan to build a nuclear waste dump at Kimber on South Australia's Eyre Peninsula. They spoke up for their country and the court listened. It's a significant site and I'm glad that they're not going to destroy anything around in that area. I'd been inspired by the bungalow's commitment to country just a few months earlier at the Australian Nuclear Free Alliance gathering in the Flinders Ranges just a couple of hours' drive from Kimber. I knew immediately the bungalow weren't going to back down. It's that connection to the country. It's about protecting and preserving Mother Earth. We, are, we don't own the country, we protect her. Bungalow, we've been fighting this nuclear waste for going on to six years now. We've been fighting this process for that long, and, yeah, and so it's getting that word out and continuing the fight of our old people and fighting together to stop this nuclear waste. To stop it so it doesn't destroy our mum, Mother Earth. There was no consultation from day one from the government with the Bangla people. That is a woman's site, and I don't want it to be destroyed because you break that story, you cannot put that story back together. First Nations people have too often borne the brunt of Australia's radioactive nuclear industry. I reckon we should leave it in the ground. Ranger, Jabaluka, Maralinga, words that speak of the toxic intergenerational legacy of uranium. But not Kimber, thanks to the bungalow. We want governments, we want other people to know how significant our fight is. We don't want other people to go through the trauma that we have been going through. We need to stand together to make sure that nuclear waste is not deposited on our country. Change is possible, and that changes everything.